get, get Kevin Bacon, get the screen. <laughs> so we'd like watch him and then try to imitate it. Six degrees of separation from Kevin Literally Bacon. Literally six I'm, degrees. Now I feel like I'm one degree closer. <laughs> Absolutely. We are in the Gardner Museum. Are you experiencing a little deja vu right now? I really am. And I didn't even know it was a, a restaurant. <laughs> so I'm like, it's nice. This was the set of the Sparrow Academy lair. And then back here, we have kind of our workout gym room. So there were like seven treadmills with all of us, like, and a CGI telekinetic cube, as you know, obviously. So when I was in this room, I was covered in like five inches of prosthetic makeup and a latex all around my body. And now I feel very light and it's very nice to be in this room. Uh, there's a nice breeze in this room, actually, which I didn't feel at the time. Alfonso is quite a looker. He's a, he's a handsome fella, number four, friends. Just watch out for him. Yeah, he's quite striking. Uh, what a wild thing, right, to get to do that. Uh, it's funny. I had a conversation with Steve Blackman, who's the showrunner of the show, and he said, we're thinking about using like maybe a, a light uh, prosthetic uh, piece on your face. So I thought, cool. like. He's gonna have like maybe he's missing an eye or there's something going on. It's gonna <laughs> and then, be so badass. <laughs> and then that became a full uh, body transformation. So I've never in my life done anything like that. So it was a, a really wild uh, opportunity, uh, a big challenge coming to work. I would be up four hours before everyone else to get you know four hours of prosthetics every day. Uh, but I really got to like reinvent my body and my face and kind of create this crazy role in this incredible TV show from the ground up. So it was a really, really wild experience. I mean, usually when I talk to actors, they'll say, you know, putting on the wardrobe, putting on the costume really helps them to step into that character. For you, it was four hours <laughs> yeah, there's a of, lot of a time full to physical transformation. But how did that lend itself in a really good way to help bring Alfonso's personality to life? Because Alfonso's a little cheeky at times. Yeah, yeah. Fonzie's a bit cheeky, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, to be honest, like the, it was a, a Kyle Glenn Cross who designed the, the Alfonso face and body and, and the, the prosthetics team I probably got to know better than everyone else because we would just spend so much time blasting punk music and getting me sort of hyper and angry every day, which was right for the character. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, Alfonso spends a lot of time, uh, you know, berating other people and hanging out with Jamie, who's his best bud in the Sparrows. Yeah, it was just, it was a lot of improv and a lot of just me like trying not to follow, <laughs> just bumping into things because I had like no peripheral vision. So there's a lot of just kind of like out of my way, I'm walking here. It was really Oh, method. I went full method, <laughs> full, full Alfonso method, absolutely. The last time we spoke, we obviously got very excited about the fact that you're going to be in the Umbrella Academy. I love the show so much. I think it's so unique and so different to what's out there. How pumped are you for people to see this season? I'm, I'm so excited. As a fan of the show, it is a, is a really cool season. It's, it's bigger, it's funnier, it's darker. Not to mention there's a dance scene right off the top to Footloose, which took me by surprise completely. <laughs> I mean, I know you're no stranger to Broadway, but what do you remember most from that day? like terror everyone was just horrified and like oh god it's my close-up right now here we go like there was just there was a lot of fear a lot of laughing I mean it was so absurd like I would look around again like being an actual fan of the show before being on the show I was like okay I'm on the Umbrella Academy set right I'm in the Umbrella Academy I'm in the uniform right now we're dancing to like a country song here <laughs> earnestly <laughs> for an entire day um, it was it was really fun. Also, because we of course shot it during COVID at the time, it was during a lockdown that we filmed it. So I hadn't seen or been around anyone. We'd been rehearsing over Zoom. So there's one shot in that whole sequence where they put all of us together in a room and just said go crazy, and we all were like, we haven't been at like a dance like we were at a dance party together yeah it was it was magic it was a real gift to get to do it oh my god especially after lockdown like so yeah. deprived of social interaction then you get to be on that set with those actors yeah having a ball dancing yeah it's one thing dancing when no one's watching you but then when there's an entire crew kind of capturing the magic oh, and they're i can just imagine killing, the they're just killing themselves laughing too you look out and they're like oh my god this is so 
funny. Were they playing the song on repeat that day, or was there like a fun? <laughs> oh gosh, okay. How do you feel about oh, that? Oh, it's that beginning down and down and down that like haunted all of our <laughs> dreams for so long. <laughs> But, it, you know, and then we'd watch the, the, the feedback of Kevin Bacon because there was a couple moves that we were trying to emulate him. We were like, how is he doing that? How is that? And they're like, get, get Kevin Bacon. Get the screen. <laughs> so we'd like watch him and then try to imitate it. Six degrees of separation from Kevin Literally Bacon. Literally six I'm, degrees. Now I feel like I'm one degree closer. <laughs> Absolutely. What I love about this season is we get to meet so many new people. But of course, mm -hmm. the core Umbrella Academy is there, but then the Sparrows are there. Mm -hmm. And as the season progresses, we kind of see how they become more and more interconnected. I'd love to learn about the bond that you formed as characters between Alfonso and Victor. And does that mirror at all the bond between you and Elliot? Well, I will say, I mean, getting to meet Elliot, getting to work with Elliot was, was an absolute highlight for me. Not only because he's an inspiration, but also he's a phenomenal actor. And like, he would drop these stories about filming Inception or filming X, you know, and, and we were like, wow. My favorite days were those, those large group scenes with all the umbrellas, all the sparrows. So we had a lot of time to kind of hang out and joke and share stories. It was a real joy. And, uh, and, and, and particularly getting to, getting to chat with Elliot was really cool. Yeah, and I just, I loved the way the show introduced all of us to Victor yeah. and how they handled it and it just it was just it was so beautiful yeah. and i just I, I was really curious to see how that storyline would play out and i was like yeah it's victor like yeah. victor's just hey victor welcome yeah. to the umbrella academy yeah, great to have you i know i know yeah. and i i know elliot had so much to do with the with the writing and really consulted steve the, the showrunner about sort of how he wanted his character to evolve and yeah. be portrayed and yeah it's it's really it's like joyful it's honest it's fun i just thought it's like handled so well and it's like my favorite storyline of the season for yeah, sure. That's so so cool. I want to talk about Netflix in your neighborhood. This is so cool because there are so many productions that happen here and sometimes it's fun to walk around and be like oh that's where this was shot like even coming into this space I'm like this is where the sparrows trade like that's so cool. <laughs> I know I mean it's wild you could literally walk around this area and you could see there's there they film everywhere. But yeah, Toronto. Toronto's on fire. Lots of stuff is shooting here. It's, it's great. I've worked in Vancouver. It's excellent. Montreal is great. I'm shooting something in Newfoundland really soon. I'm, I'm, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's really, really cool to, to shoot in Canada. What else do you have going on this summer, if there's anything you can share? Because last summer when we connected, you were, you were keeping busy. I was busy last summer. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I just finished it. Um, but I did a, a, a one-man show here in Toronto with Mervish called Boy Falls from the Sky. It was at the Royal Alex Theatre, which is one of the most beautiful theatres in the city. I got to do a six-week run wow. of a show that I wrote. So that was uh, wild. And then now Umbrella Academy's starting. Uh, the new season is premiering. So it's just like crazy, crazy. Life is crazy Does that sometimes. mean you're going to like enjoy summer? You're going to take a little break? No, no? I don't know how to enjoy. <laughs> I got to keep working, man. You got to keep hustling, you know? Uh, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a break at some point. Yes. OK, well, I wish you all the luck in being a person. Uh, Thank very you. well deserved. Thank you. After the prosthetics yes. and all that, it's very nice to just like be my own body and flesh. Yes. And just oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you, the grossest part of Umbrella Academy is when you lost part of your chin. Right. I felt sick watching that scene. I was like, uh, honestly? <laughs> just a part of your chin just went bloop. We, it's so funny. I like we shot so many different versions of it. We were like, does he like that he loses his chin? Does it hurt? Like it was what I was like, ow, <laughs> like my chin. And we were like, no, that's terrifying. <laughs> so we're not going to do that. And then we were like, no, his face is like a candle. Like things just kind of fall off. There are pieces of him that don't totally stay on his face. And that's just normal. Okay. So it was, yeah, it was yeah. really, really fun to shoot yeah. that. I was like, I need to tell Jake that was really gross and perfect at the same yeah. time. Yeah, you know what's, what's funny, that whole sequence. So it's not my belly, right? It's not, it's not my body. So I didn't realize that my my shirt started to ride up my belly. <laughs> that wasn't intentional? Like, no, so it's sort of like a crop top, because I have no feeling, right? It's not my skin, it's, yeah. it's, you know. And sure enough, we're shooting the fight, my shirt like goes up, <laughs> and nobody tells me. They're all just killing themselves laughing. They love it. Yeah. So I do an entire fight, just like a crop top. <laughs> So then yeah. now everyone can enjoy that. What a professional. A classy, classy guy, everybody. Look, you just say yes. Yes <laughs> and, you know? Thanks for watching eTalk. Make sure you hit subscribe for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news. And while you're here, why not watch another video? I know you want to.